suppose I've been involved with ABI for a few years now. Um, look, ABI do great work. Um, it's, it, it's, an, it's an important aspect which has been kind of increasing in, uh, in Gaelic games uh, over recent years. Uh, and people are coming a lot more aware of it through a few high profile incidents. So, yeah, look, I, I, I've been honoured to be, to be asked to be a part of this and I think ABI do great work. Well, I think it's a, it's a very worthy cause and, um, you know, anything... It's, it's you know it's very important to get behind these causes and just give it as much um, airtime as possible really to make people aware of the uh, how dangerous concussion can be. The conference which is taking place in December the 13th here in the Aviva is to bring together coaches, parents, uh, clinicians, specialists, anybody who has, works in the area of particularly sport um, in order to educate them about best practice around concussion to make sure that people get the message that this is serious if it's not treated properly, that they get the best back to return play guidelines, so how to manage it if, if it does happen and so that people then can take responsibility and I think one of the big messages is that players should not be responsible for getting themselves off the pitch and it doesn't matter how elite or you know or how local a match is it's it's the same rules apply. The media definitely has a role but we also need to be educated too because it's not a subject that we're experts on. It's, it's something that a lot of us find very interesting because obviously the very high profile case of Brian O'Driscoll and then just recently in the All-Ireland Football Final, Rory O'Carroll as well. I just feel like we don't know enough about this and the more we talk about it the more people are going to know about it, the more it'll be an issue and the better ultimately for anybody who loves sport. If you get the concussion, your decision making is impaired, um, and I think it's at, at that stage it's up to the managers to kind of to, to kind of override it and, and take the player off. Like the, the player is now used to us once he's concussed, he's doing nothing out there, and, and, and it's it's not safe for him to be out there. Luckily, I haven't had too many uh, head injuries, but you know they're not. It's not exactly surprising to, for someone to get a head head injury during a hurling game or a football game. So I think um, you know people should know as much as possible about the subject. Maybe stricter guidelines should be. Um, um, put in place to kind of uh, protect everyone in that situation so um, hopefully you'll be taken you know, a lot more seriously in the future. Unless we have an education process in place where all coaches at all levels understand the dangers of a bang to the head or any form of concussive injury then we're not doing, we're not m matching our duty of care to these people. I think what's really important about this conference is we have the players themselves speaking out. So the likes of Rory O'Carroll and Michael Dara, who are ambassadors, they've experienced concussion. They're here to tell what it's really like, and they're here to emphasise the fact that these guidelines are so important, and people really need to take heed at this point. Mm -hmm.